Hey everyone, and good Thursday evening to you. It is 21 News Chief Meteorologist Eric Wilhelm here. It's weather for weather geeks time after a beautiful day today. We've got more good news for our Friday before, unfortunately, things go downhill for parts of the upcoming weekend. But let's reminisce about this beautiful Thursday with a time-lapse video from our Boardman camera. We're looking east here towards the Poland area. This is 224 Market Street. There's uh, the Southern Park Mall on the right-hand side of the screen. And just some fair weather clouds, cirrus clouds for a while, then some cumulus clouds started to bubble up as we got deeper into the afternoon. And as promised, a nice change in the air mass. After a muggy day yesterday, the dew points have crashed significantly today, 14 degrees lower than this same time, the seven o'clock hour on uh, Wednesday. So no complaints at all about uh, our weather today. A far cry from yesterday when we had a few rounds of showers and storms. The first round around midday did produce some wind damage, northeastern trouble, and especially up into Crawford County. PA. The evening round brought some hail and some wind to the Cleveland metro area and points to the south and west. And then in the middle of the night last night, around 2 o'clock, we did have one solitary heavy gusty storm that moved through parts of Columbiana County in particular right around 2 o'clock or so and uh, brought some uh, strong winds to the Hanoverton area. They issued a severe thunderstorm warning for that for a little while right around 2 o'clock this morning. A lot of us just slept through that. All right, our severe weather risk on this Thursday evening is well off to our south, south of our frontal boundary. The same front that brought us the storms late in the day yesterday into last night has settled just to our south and in this soupy air mass down here, this is where we have ongoing showers and storms and a severe thunderstorm watch for parts of Kentucky and into Tennessee. Uh, mostly clear sky tonight. Good night to check out the full moon and May's full moon is oftentimes referred to as the full flower moon for obvious reasons given the time of the year it is 99.8 percent full up there tonight so a big bright full moon up there tonight all right so let's talk about uh, the next few days we're going to skip past friday because it's just gonna be a nice day there's not a lot to talk about a lot of you have plans for the weekend it's memorial day weekend after all now this is the current day three severe weather outlook put out by the storm prediction center i think you're going to see some changes to this outlook when this becomes the day two outlook overnight tonight. I think there's going to be a marginal risk in the darker green, level one risk, probably introduced somewhere across eastern Ohio and into Pennsylvania. Might even be a level two slight risk somewhere in that zone as well. I think they underdid uh, the overall risk on their day three outlook when this was issued first thing this morning. I do think with a weak cool front heading our way Saturday, the atmosphere is going to turn pretty unstable ahead of that front, and there's just enough wind shear that I do think there'll be some scattered thunderstorms in the afternoon. Some of them could pack a little bit of a punch, but yeah, Friday is another nice day. If you like today, you're going to like tomorrow. Now, this warm front Saturday morning might kick off a stray shower, but the better rain chance will come Saturday afternoon, again, as this cool front heads our way. I think there's going to be some clusters of showers and storms, especially right around mid-afternoon on Saturday. Any of these could be heavy and gusty, and I do think there will be at least a low-end severe weather threat with these. Then we'll get a break Saturday evening. Looks pretty nice Saturday evening, and actually we're in good shape into much of Sunday. Now there could be some fog Sunday morning, but otherwise a mostly sunny sky in the morning and a partly sunny sky in the afternoon. Rain chances will probably hold off until pretty late in the day on Sunday. The Sunday's your pick day this weekend. While it may start to rain very late in the day, I think much of Sunday will be just fine for those outdoor activities. So the rain chances as we have them right now peak Saturday early to mid afternoon. And notice the rain chances are pretty much zero for a lot of the day Sunday. It'll take until about dinner time or maybe even closer to sunset before showers and storms return. Now once we see showers and storms returning, I do think that uh, we could have some gusty winds overnight Sunday night. I think there'll be a lot of severe weather during the day Sunday in Indiana, Illinois, Missouri, kind of the mid-Ohio Valley, mid-Mississippi Valley. Uh, the severe weather risk won't be as high here Sunday night, but a couple of rowdy storms, I think that'll be a possibility for Sunday night. Now, during the daylight hours, we have two uh, main severe weather risks highlighted here. Uh, I just mentioned Sunday night, but during the day Saturday, especially Saturday afternoon, we're going to call it a medium risk of severe weather at this point, and then Monday for Memorial Day. Same idea. I don't think it's a big, big severe weather day, but... I, I do think that any thunderstorm that does manage to get going on Monday can tap into some wind shear and some instability and um, be strong and gusty. Now, Memorial Day in recent years has been pretty nice. We haven't had measurable rain at the airport on Memorial Day in several years. Um, we've had some hot Memorial Days as well, 87 over the last couple of years. We had 89 in 2020, and back in 2018, it was the hottest Memorial Day on record with a high of 92 
back in late May of 2018. It's not going to be that hot this year, and a pretty decent chance that we get wet on the holiday for the first time in several years. Uh, if you've been watching my videos this week, I've been highlighting this cooldown that's coming after the holiday weekend, middle of next week. We've got a day with a high of only 65 in our forecast. That's a full 10 degrees below the average, and that would be, what is that, next uh, Wednesday, the 29th. I think overnight lows then next Wednesday night, not frost and freeze territory, but could we see 40 or so in some of the cooler spots next Wednesday night? I think that'll be a possibility. It looks pretty chilly, but it's the end of May. You know it's not going to last very long, and I do think we'll turn the corner at the very end of the month and heading into the start of June with not a hot pattern, but a more seasonable pattern for the start of the uh, new month. We'll take more longer range uh, looks uh, as we go a little bit closer to June at the uh, beginning of next week. In the meantime, on Friday evening's weather for Weather Geeks, we'll bring you up to date on the weekend forecast, the storm chances, any severe weather risks, all that good stuff coming up Friday evening. In the meantime, thank you for watching on this Thursday evening, and have a great rest of your night.